Okay, now we're going to talk about the uh, Aoki lock, which is basically a heel hook <laughs> done from an ankle lock grip. Uh, named obviously after Shinya Aoki, or probably you know created by Shinya Aoki. Uh, the one of the defenses that you see for an ankle lock is that people will attempt to pull their heel out. So this is quite uh, common. Uh, and this is where, by the way, the, the, the butterfly actually starts to become very valuable is that even if somebody were not inclined to pull their heel out in this fashion, by using this hook, you can now push them into the position. So there are a couple of ways that we'll be attacking the, uh, the Aoki lock. One is gonna be just straight out of standard ashy, we go to do this, they pull, uh, the, yeah, exactly, and they get themselves to here. The other is going to be, I use the butterfly ashy to force this position. And then another one yet is, if you have me in standard ashy, and I will basically counter you with an Aoki lock. So those are kind of the three main ways related to this position. Obviously later on in the, uh, the different volumes, we'll be talking about how we can use the Aoki lock to attack the off leg in 50-50 and things like that. We won't get into that so much uh, in this section. But the, the primary methods here are the three that, that we mentioned. The one that's the most, you know, let's say annoying is when I have you in standard hashi and you're trying to Aoki lock me. But before we uh, get to that, let's just get to the, the, the offensive ones, the, the ones that I'm initiating. So in the case of the standard ashy straight ankle lock, when my opponent starts to turn to their hip and extract, I'm gonna allow them to do it. And I just wanna catch with you know, essentially the meat of my forearm around the Achilles tendon where it connects to the heel bone. So like this is really, it is just a heel hook, right? I need to make sure when I'm doing this that I create enough upward pressure so that there's friction on, well, first of all, the heel, but also so there's enough of a wedge against my like inside of my biceps and armpit where if you go to point your toe, Stefan, like <clears throat> ballet toes, See, like difficult, right? Yeah. So I'm not, uh, or I'm, I shouldn't have to be concerned about you slipping out. If I'm a little bit too far down here, that's what I'm concerned about. So I wanna be like right there. We can make a grip on our biceps. Even in some cases, we can make a grip on our shoulder. This is gonna be a little bit arm length dependent. I'm usually on my biceps here. Uh, and when I'm gripping my biceps, I'm trying to grip around onto the back of my triceps versus just being on my biceps here. This tends to, uh, well, tighten up the space. It's like using a, a butterfly or reverse butterfly grip for a heel hook. And then I'm connecting to my opposite shoulder here. I'm, I'm loosening up my legs because this is like- This is all, I'm already close to tapping. Yeah, it, it's, well, I mean, you can see just the amount of rotation uh, that's occurring with uh, at, at the tibia. So I would normally, like for safety reasons, I won't like reattach, <laughs> I won't reattach the, the, the standard ashy, but I want you to just picture I've got you in standard ashy, and now I'm doing this. So let's just go into a seated position so that I can kind of, yeah, there we go. So you can see where Stefan's toes are kind of stuck in my armpit. I'm fairly high up here. My form is cutting into the Achilles tendon by the heel. And so in this case, gripping at the biceps, this doesn't feel good enough, right? Just because of the change in angle, right? So at this point, I'd be coming up to my shoulder and reaching over to this triceps. And then it doesn't even have to be like, the standard ashy configuration. It can just be that. And as I start to lift and push, uh, we're creating the effect. And it is, it's literally just an inside heel hook done with a, with a different grip. So like we, you know, obviously we want to give credit, let's call it the Aoki lock, but this is just a slightly different methodology for applying this rotational force to the tibia, which is literally the same thing as me doing that in this life. So I'm just using the opposite armpit that I would normally be using for an inside heel hook to create this same effect. So standard ashy, somebody goes to slip out, we can hit them with this. As far as the butterfly ashy variation, this is much more uh, an, an attack that I'm utilizing. Like I'm forcing the position. Or again, we might be here, I'm like, man, it's just, this is not working. My straight ankle lock is not working. I scoot back, I insert the butterfly hook, and now I'm gonna create forward pressure with my right uh, like edge of my foot and my knee to force this out. Same idea, starting to raise up. We'll talk about the, the defense you know, in a, a, a you know, video or two down the road here, but the main thing that I'm concerned with here is because I'm rotating you that way is you turning 
like that. Keep going. Exactly. That will allow you to leave the position. So when I create this, that's when I'm going to want to bring this foot to the outside. Like on your hip is good here. This is it's fine. This is better. All right. Uh, again, just situationally, the where I'm pressing my like left foot against your rib cage. There's not a ton, or like there's not enough friction, especially as you start to lay back. And so now, like, yeah, you can just push that foot up and off, and you can pummel and you can twist exactly. Whereas here, you can feel like rather than pushing, I'm hamstring curling, which is bringing you towards you, which is creating even more of this kind of bend and external rotation in your hip to create the rotation that I need to finish the Aoki lock slash heel hook or whatever. Uh, so those are the two main ways. Uh, that we're going to see this uh, applied, and then we'll talk about the um, uh, like the, the the version where you're trying to aoki lock me from the uh, standard ashes of counter in the next video.